Okay, so now before we go into this video and I talk about the subject at hand, if you decide to dislike this video for any other reason that I'm exposing a hacker or a mudder or one of the two which I always get confused and get automatically corrected by people who say it's not a hack, it's a mud. And then when I say it's a mud, it's not a mud, it's a hack. And I say, okay, sorry, I got those two very important things wrong in my life. <laughs> I feel a better man now than I know. Then please, all I can say is grow some balls, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me where I went wrong or in what ways I can improve. That way we can push forward and I can at least learn from my mistakes. Now, on the other scale of things, if you are a hacker or a mudder, or again, one of the two that I always get confused about and automatically corrected, and you decide to dislike this video because of that, if you're subscribed to me, there's a button on my channel and it says unsubscribe. Please click that and be on your merry way. Thank you very much and don't hit your head on the way out. Now, let's do this. <laughs> Space. What the fuck is this guy doing? See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh man, this is how they roll. <laughs> Pro beast. Now before we proceed to talk about this scumbag in the gameplay in the background, I just want to tell you a little story. It's a little bit weird and a little bit random, but it's absolutely 110% true. And I haven't told many people about this in my life because you'll understand why when I tell you. But I've only ever seen what I can assume is one ghost in my life. And the story goes that I was lying in bed one night, I was about 19, 18, 19, 20, and I was lying in bed one night, and in my dream, you know you hear these noises and they get kind of blended into your dream, I could hear this sort of chainsaw noise. Now, I was sort of, in my dream suddenly turned into my next door neighbour who was a pain in the ass cutting his hedge. So, as I woke up, I could hear this noise as I was sort of slumbering into my, you know, awoken state. And I automatically thought as I looked round and I could see it was still very dark, what the hell is the neighbour doing cutting the hedge at this time of night? So I got up out of bed, rubbed my eyes, and the noise kind of got quieter and faded away, but still I could hear it very much. And it sounded almost like a buzzing, like a huge bumblebee at this point. So of course I went to the window, I looked out the window, no neighbour, no hedge cutting, no chainsaw, but it sounded as though the noise was coming from my wardrobe. So I walked over to the wardrobe, quite scared because I thought I was going to bump into a helicopter sized bumblebee, and as I opened the wardrobe very quickly, I can see what I can only explain to be a football sized sprout with eyes and a nose and a mouth floating around in amongst my clothes and then sort of disappeared into the back. Now, maybe I was high, maybe I was half asleep, maybe I was hallucinating, I don't know, but this is 100% true. I shit my pants and proceeded to flat foot the life out of my clothes, standing backwards, holding onto the wardrobe doors, kicking the hell out of this invisible entity that I assumed that I saw, whilst almost screaming because it frightened the bejesus out of me. Now it was at this point that my father got woken up and he wasn't the best man to wake up in the morning. He was never very much a morning person, so you know, waking him up in the middle of the night was never the best idea. Now to his horror when he clicked on the lights to my room and he could see his 19 year old son stark bollock naked flat footing my clothes with the last chicken in the shop swinging around between my legs he lost his nuts and went absolutely ballistic at me. I then had to stand there and explain to him about aforementioned floating sprout head that I thought I saw in my wardrobe. Yeah, it didn't really go down very well and he automatically assumed that I'd moved on to harder drugs and I was now experimenting with heroin and, I don't know, drinking methylated spirits, who knows? But yeah, funny thing about that was, I went to college the next day and I used to be in a band, I was the lead singer and a guitarist in a band, and we were struggling for a name, and I decided to tell these guys at college about this funny story and they were all laughing, and one of them turned around and he said, there we go, I've got the name for our band, let's call ourselves 
Chainsaw Sprout. <laughs> and the name stuck. And that was what we became. What a shame we never got famous. I would have loved to have told that story on MTV. But anyway, rambling aside, let's move on to the subject at hand. This guy in the background was not a ghost. In fact, it was something I've never come across before on Xbox Live. I've come across the unlimited Nova Gas hack and the Mortar hack and well, you know, Mod or whatever. Sorry, I might have got that wrong again. But yeah, I've come across that a few times and it's annoying and it's frustrating, but you can quite easily back out and it can be dealt with in that way. However, this was, you know, totally different. This is Xbox Live. I've never seen an invisible hacker slash modder, whatever he is. In however many years, four or five years since this game's been out, I've never come across across one before. Now the reason I wanted to put this up there is because this guy was an obnoxious twat. You will see as the commentary is going on but you won't really hear what he's saying in the background that he was kind of goading everybody in the play lobby. People were calling him out and he was basically just saying what are you going to do about it? There is absolutely nothing you can do, you're getting wrecked, I'm not hacking. But he was clearly invisible. I come across him so many times and I didn't see him. I could see the name like the Modern Warfare 3 name that shows up and then these invisible guys stab you. But the worst part about it is he was trying trying so hard and at one point I was actually beating him at a free-for-all. But unfortunately, you can't quite beat somebody who you can't see. It's like trying to beat the predator to death when he's in full stealth mode by using a table tennis paddle. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So all I'm going to say guys is his name is that hacker O, very original. Go on to Xbox Live and report him like I did. It's as simple as that. We don't need these people here. And if it wasn't for the sheer obnoxiousness of his goading in the lobby, I probably wouldn't be doing this video. So fuck him. Thanks for watching guys. Apocalypse done.